again everybody it's Eva here and today I'm coming with video where I will be using a decoupage book I found in my stuff two decoupage books uh, from Studio Light and I do have them for many months and I totally forgot I've got them and I think they are perfect to use not just for cards you can make uh, cards using all these uh, die cuts which are inside in those uh, on those pages but you can also make a very easy way beautiful decorations for your journal and today I'm coming to share with you my process video where I am using only two sheets from one of these book and I hope you will enjoy it so for today's creation I'm gonna try to use one of these books uh, I do have these books I think already a year in my stuff these are from studio lights and they are beautiful uh, pre-cutted books and you can create Christmas cards with these die cuts um, I think it's called that, that way somehow that way and I do have these two and I decided to create clusters or decorative elements for my journals because I really love the look it's already pre-cutted and um, I want to challenge myself I'm terrible with cards so I'm gonna be using them for my journals as another <clears throat> material. I'm gonna be using this beautiful craft card or craft paper, which will hopefully go nicely with these designs with both of them. Yeah, I do believe it will be great. And also these old book pages I, am, I do have in my stuff. It's from books I used long time ago and I saved those pages. And I do have here my tea box. So hopefully that will be in use as well. And also I do have here tin with my Christmas dice. And I somehow forgot here this one. So Christmas dice like this. So hopefully something from this I'm gonna be using as well. And also look at that. I do have here. Oh nice. So maybe something from that I'm gonna be using as well. But especially which one? I do love both, I have to say. Look at this. This is gorgeous. But this is kind of like, you know, classical. Yeah, classical. Hey, classical Christmas. Nordic winter. Well, I do love both, so, because Christmas is really close, I'm going to be using this and the winter in, a, in another time. What is perfect on these mini books, that all those pieces are already pre-cutted, so you don't have to grab your scissors and fussy cut out yourself all these images. You can just pop out all these mini cards and use them for your for your art and that's perfect i'm terrible with my scissors <laughs> and fussy cutting is not my favorite thing therefore <laughs> these books are actually perfect and i already tried to use uh, to use these pre-cutted pieces in one of my journals. It's not finished yet. But I am kind of working on it. And it's in this Christmas, uh, Christmas daily. So these are also from kind of like decoupage kit. These pieces. And I try to use them a little bit different way. Than they probably supposed to be used. So, something like that I want to create using these pieces. So, I'm going to punch these little embellishments from that first card. And then I will try. And if you do have books like this, if you do have decoupage kits, do not uh, read off... Uh, the negative, this leftover, because I do believe we can use that as well, somehow. It's same like with dice. Uh, I mostly use also negative from my die cutting, because that can give me beautiful shape. So then I can create beautiful windows 
for my for my journals so I do believe it can be used here as well maybe not exactly same way but maybe it will be what we need to create amazing clusters Look at that, it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> so I do have my first leftover, which I'm gonna use straight away. I'm gonna rip it off from my book very carefully. I will be not careful, I can ruin the frame. And I already have frame here. So I'm gonna grab two frames. I already have two frames here. So I'm gonna grab my scissors. And with my scissors, I'm gonna cut this. I do have one frame. And here we do have another frame. And I can actually keep it with the bottom part. So we do have two buttons. We do have two hearts. One. And somewhere where that second one, which is not here. Ah, here. Second. One, two, one, two. All right. What is this? Oh, I guess this is supposed to be like background. And here it's actually the look of your card. This is base. That was from this frame here in the corner. It was. So this is base. And with all these pieces, including these, I supposed to get together this part, kind of like this card. That's actually perfect. Happy New Year. Oh, I can choose if I will place there Happy New Year or Merry Christmas. And it says to make six complete cards. So one page, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, which means I do have two sheets for one card. If I will, you know, go with the pattern they are offering. But I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm gonna take my book pages and I'm gonna glue my frames onto those book pages. And I would like to have here something different than uh, its book page. So I'm gonna grab one of my one of my washi tapes and first I'm gonna place my washi tape under that book page somewhere here okay here I need to remember where probably I would be and I'm gonna place that this so I do have some writing now I can place, oh, good. It will be actually perfect. So I'm going to grab my glue, glue it, put the glue on my frame. And 
and go it down. With my scissors, I'm gonna be fussy cutting around that frame. Not exactly, I'm gonna keep their small gap between frame and you know my fussy cutting so I can see also the writing on my book page around the frame or piece of that book page around the frame like this yeah it's from here good And I'm going to continue same way with the other parts that I will glue them on the book pages. And here it will be same. So all this white piece I'm going to cover with glue. And put their book pages and then we will go from that. So I do have glued my uh, off cuts and I already fussy cut out this frame from this side. So I do have another frame, a large one. And then I do have this kind of like off cuts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try, maybe it will don't go well with every single one, but few of them I can fussy cut out around. Like I'm going to start with this. It looks like snowflake. So I'm going to carefully try to follow ish that pattern but keep that green paper around with the ish <laughs> same amount all around so it will be like I glued their uh, die cut you know die cut of that snowflake if it was, I think it wasn't even snowflake. I'm not sure now what picture was there. Like this. And I do have another decorative element for my embellishing. Whatever I'm going to do with this. <laughs> so here can be another one like a label and it's already framed if I will be successful to fussy cut out that way like this and I can use it as my decoration so same way I'm gonna try a few more shapes if something will remind me something hearts definitely hearts and this flower and this label as well and this is nice and strong piece i know it's just left over but i do believe i can use that so this was here originally so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna kind of like fold it And I can glue it uh, not exactly as it was. It was probably somehow. Was that this one? Oh, that was this one. Oh, see? This was different flower. Aha, it was from here. What I'm doing? There was this gold one. So I can use this red one and glue it over it. And I will have kind of like double layer. Before I will do so. I'm gonna choose my distress ink for this project and it will be vintage photo because I love that vintage uh, look 
of that distress ink and I'm gonna add distress ink even inside on my book page not just on the edges of this die cut and now the edges And same ink I'm gonna use on edges of this red flower. And I think I'm gonna cut a little bit. To the leaves as they are going on this flower and hope for the best that I will do nice layer a little bit dimensional layer for gluing these parts together I'm gonna choose a uh, hot glue gun it's uh, drying fast and I kind of hope that the layer of that glue underneath will give also dimension for my for my flower here okay so I'm gonna continue with fussy cutting my pieces. Now these hearts. So before I will put my uh, little pieces together, I'm gonna be working a little bit more on these larger pieces. Uh, these are already backed with that book page and they are still very soft. I'm gonna back them with this craft paper, but be before I will do so, I'm gonna use the sewing machine and add their sewing effect and I was thinking this I can actually use for more decoration so I'm gonna just rip it off and one more time You know to do kind of like collection of same decorations so they can be used in one journal because they will have similar colors kind of same style gonna grab my scissors fold this half and just cut and I'm gonna do same with all these pieces now I do have these pieces also decorative parts and I do have book pages so before I will do anything else <laughs> I'm gonna do exactly the same like with those frames I'm gonna grab book pages and use my little pieces on the book pages and then add to all these pieces sewing effect
So I do have my sewing effect all around of these pieces and I'm gonna grab my craft card stock and use that craft <laughs> or craft paper and use that craft paper to make all these pieces much more stronger. And this one I think I'm gonna cut all this strip so I'm gonna start with this part. It does have three and one quarter of inch size here. Which way it should go? This way it should go. It does have three and one quarter too. So I'm gonna cut the piece three and three eighths. It should be enough yeah I'm gonna fold it fold it half gonna grab my decorative piece first I'm gonna punch the corners because these corners here are rounded this will be too small I do have here this corner punch so I'm gonna be using that medium yeah I think that can be okay gonna grab my card and add the glue on three sides I'm gonna make it like a loaded mini card like pocket mini card loaded from the top there will be space where I can slide the tack so I'm gonna place this one here Therefore, from the top, I can slide the tack in there. <clears throat> and I think I can take some decorations from here. Actually, why not? Maybe this one, I just don't like that topper. So I'm gonna cut it off. <coughs> Pardon me. Gonna distress the edges. And give there some some texture I'm thinking either lace or a piece of cheesecloth I think that cheesecloth I will rather use so I did finish that decoration my battery just switched off I'm so sorry so I had to wait till my battery will get again top up or powered up and uh, meanwhile I glued down the cheesecloth those clocks uh, that background bow and then this is die uh, die cut uh, Tim Holtz very old die cut die uh, with all kind of Christmas wintery uh, these leaves and I think it's there also pine cone and this was actually in there in those pieces I pull out I just used my embossing tool this one I fold or flipped the circle uh, which one I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this this is that uh, button so I took my embossing uh, tool and it just pressed the inside to make it kind of dimensional Um, 
not sure if you will see that to make it a little bit dimensional and then I glue that using a hot glue gun that's why these are a little bit popped up and here I use there was this uh, Christmas bubble decorative bubble and again Tim Holtz dies this is a new one or I uh, know it's not new one I think it's from last year or year before from dies and this one is that old one so I just added a few dies. This is actually off cut from here, from some piece. And underneath I do have book page and then piece of lace. And we can continue together. So I do have here a few uh, die cuts because I would like to add there some greenery, which I was missing in these pullouts or I'm not sure how to tell, tell what is it so I do have here that point set yeah so what I'm gonna try I'm gonna add there some of that greenery because I think it will look great Maybe a little bit bigger. Do I have a little bit bigger? Maybe this one. Oh, this one can look good. And maybe some of these Tim Holtz pieces. So I'm gonna do here <coughs> little Christmas layout oh this one is much much better so I'll make it this leaf right here this one that way and now point set yeah I'm gonna press it with my hot glue gun kind of down and let it dry that way the layout should be a little bit dimensional I'm gonna let it dry and then I will use it and I do have here another of these banners and this is one of these uh, off cuts from here I just used stamp and I stamp it a little bit. I do have here uh, <coughs> cheesecloth or I do have here also this lace which I used on that banner before so maybe here I can use it as well. slightly shorter and I'm gonna add it here so first lace, then that banner, and something decorative. So what we have here, we can place there. I also made a kind of layer using uh, foam double-sided tape and few pieces of cardstock to make a dimensional pop-up topper where I do have that book page heart with that frame around which I created and then the heart which was in that collection so I think this can be 
right here. And I do have more of these. So I'm going to decorate them same way. I'm going to mix it with the things I do have here. Okay. And I can add there also a washi tape or maybe some stamp. But I like this washi tape. It does have beautiful decorative, you know, look. So I'm going to add here that washi tape. I think I can use also this Merry Christmas here. Or just my decorative layer. And press it down. And again I'm pushing to that layer slightly down. So with that pushing kind of pulling those uh, leaves up so that way it will be dimensional and here I'm not sure if I should place there something I think maybe I do have somewhere ah, here. and this is too big this can be here just clipped together if I will want so you know some Christmassy some vintage beautiful vintage picture So then I continued uh, with all that rest of these pieces. I tried to make uh, small layouts which I will be using on uh, the banners and on uh, those uh, frames. I have to say that I did enjoy it so much. Uh, it was so much fun and it, it's actually very easy to put all these pieces together because they are made to be put together. Even my die cuts, uh, which I made uh, using Tim Holtz dies, they went uh, really well together with all those pieces from decoupage kit. And I uh, have to say that it looks so amazing. It was very easy craft, very relaxing craft. So if you ever bought these decoupage uh, books or decoupage kits and you have them somewhere in your drawer, maybe now it's time to pull them out because uh, it's really very relaxing craft. You don't have to print out anything. You don't have to fussy cut out anything if you don't want to. And you can uh, create really beautiful, beautiful cards or banners or uh, uh, tags for your journals and uh, it's really fun to put these pieces together i did use exactly same layer same layering technique that uh, i made uh, basic layers and then i added those small pieces the way i thought it will be look uh, really nice on this uh, basics on those banners and tag and frames and what I have created you can see in the end of this video and I hope uh, you will try it with your uh, with your kids and with uh, the books maybe you have And this is what I've got from <laughs> first two pages from this beautiful uh, decoupage, decoupage book by Studio Light. 
and I have to say it's it's so much fun to put these pieces together and as you can see I do have there a lot of more so I'm gonna try to put something together using these pieces and uh, you will see the result on my Instagram uh, if you don't have my Instagram the link will be down below also all other links where you can find me thank you so so much for spending your time with me today thank you so much for sharing your time with me if you like this video please give it thumbs up and share that video with your friends and on your social media thank you so much for that have a beautiful day take care about yourself and I will see you soon bye